y'all, if you're on a mission to cook more meals at home and eat more high protein food, you've come to the right place. We're starting off with my post-workout smoothie. Strawberries, banana, and peanut butter. I keep it real simple. I usually freeze my fruit, but my berries missed the memo this week. <laughs> this week I'm using the Owen Protein Powder. It's my favorite, I love it. It's plant-based, smooth, and has a great flavor. Fair warning, my health journey is chaotic and all over the place because I am done being a perfectionist. In the past, if I couldn't do things to the best of my ability, I wouldn't do it at all. I waited for the perfect moment to go on a health journey, to start a new hobby, to wear a new outfit. But maturity is realizing that there is never a perfect time. And the minute I switched my mindset was the moment everything changed for me. I struggle with switching up my lunch meals and usually just fall back on leftovers from the night before. But today, we're making high protein lettuce wrap chicken salad. What makes this high protein, guys, is this baby right here. This is low fat Greek yogurt, packed with protein, 16 grams to be exact. Just warning you, she is about to be the star of the show today. Obviously, you can make a more traditional chicken salad with mayo to give it better flavor, or you can do half and half. I mix in a celery, apple, and a bunch of seasoning topped with thin pita chips from Target for an added crunch. You can throw it on a sandwich with cucumbers. You can throw it on a tortilla and make it a wrap. You have to try it and let me know how you like it. It's important to have a few go-to dinner recipes to fall back on when you're having analysis paralysis. You need meals that you can literally make in your sleep, and this is that for me. My ride or die, marry me chicken. <laughs> I make my chicken with the Famous Dave's chicken rub and Trader Joe's Italian bomba sauce. I pan sear it with sauteed onions, jalapeno, and a little bit of chicken broth to keep it juicy and flavorful throughout the week. And I usually make a bigger batch to last longer too. I serve it on a bed of lettuce for myself, rice, beans, and top it with some cheese and some tomato. That's it. You can make these into tacos, obviously, a bowl like I just did, throw it into some soup. It's so versatile, guys, and we never get tired of this. TikTok. That is pretty much 50% of what gets fed to me on my algorithm there. I love getting new recipe inspo from TikTok because it's fast, it's easy to find. All you need is flour, baking powder, salt, egg whites, an egg, Greek yogurt, and seasoning. That's it. And I think I'm going to make like a little like avocado toast moment 
with the bagels. So honestly, I'm super nervous about this because most of the time, whenever I make things from scratch, especially when it comes to baking, it always comes out in a blob. Like, I'm not good at baking things. So let's just hope this works. Next time, I'm gonna to try to make these a little bit bigger. I had enough to make two bigger bagels, so I could have done that. This is messy, but it's so good. I have an extra hard boiled egg on the side. I was going to say, just buy the bagel. <laughs> just go out and buy the bagel. Don't put yourself through the stress, but I would definitely do this again. Like it comes out really crispy. Probably make myself a snack a little bit later on with those bagels. If there's anything that you take from this video, it needs to be this recipe right here, okay? It's easy to make and has been officially added to my roster. Start by massaging your kale and olive oil. Add about a spoonful of couscous on top. Couscous is so easy to make, literally takes like five minutes. I baked salmon and threw the chopped salmon pieces on top of the couscous. Added some breadcrumbs for an added crunch feta cheese because we love crumbly cheese around here and tomato you can use whatever dressing you like i use lemon and viola oh guys the flavors paired so well together loved this Consistency was the first thing I focused on in this journey. Showing up as the person I wanted to become and as the person I knew I was meant to become every single day. Now, I'd be lying if I said that motivation doesn't die because it does all the time. But what's keeping me going is discipline and mental toughness. 
being stronger than the doubts and the fatigue. If there's one thing I've learned in this journey, it is that I am capable of change. I am capable of discipline and I am capable of consistency. And it's important that you remind yourself of these things every single day. This is what I like to call a sophisticated hamburger helper. <laughs> Basically a burger without the bun. We start by drizzling our potatoes with olive oil and pop that into the oven. I pan seared ground turkey with sauteed onions and peppers per usual and added hamburger seasoning as well. Moving on to our secret sauce. We use surprise Greek yogurt and mix in ketchup, mustard, pickle juice, and garlic salt. Mix that until it's smooth and, oh guys, this is so good. We throw everything into a casserole dish, our ground turkey, tomato sauce, our secret sauce, pickles, and cheese, and pop it into the oven for around 10 minutes. Now, this isn't the prettiest dish, but let me tell you, it is so good. Per usual, I threw it onto a bed of lettuce, and that was it. It's nourishing and definitely satisfies the burger craving. It is Thursday. My test is on Tuesday. So it's crunch time, I have four days until my test. So I've just been studying and then coming over here and cooking and filming with you guys and then studying and then cooking in between. So it's been a great week. I'm about to make a blueberry lemon loaf from Kodiak, uh, the Kodiak brand. These are protein packed, 13 grams of protein. Uh, this is a muffin mix but I'm gonna make it into a lemon loaf because I don't have a muffin tin. I just wanted to say this, not every week looks like this for me. There are weeks where I am super busy and I'm literally struggling to maintain balance and there's weeks like this week where I have nothing going on, where I can really focus in on being healthy and fueling my body in the way it needs to be fueled. However, last week, guys, we had a wedding that we went to. Our friends Claudia and Adam got married last week, which we were so happy to go to their wedding and celebrate them. And then they had their welcome party on Thursday that we went to. Saturday had brunch, Sunday did Sunday fun day. Like, Last week was crazy, and this week, no events, no weddings, no dinner plans with friends, no nothing. And I feel like, honestly, honestly, these are the weeks, these are the weeks that matter the most in your journey. These weeks right here, where you have nothing going on, this is when you should dial it back, really get serious about your health goals, reshape your mindset, and it helps you move with more balance once the crazier weeks come. Summer is coming up and the summers are busy for us. I know a lot of you can relate with families and having kids and all this stuff. Like we have so much that goes on this summer. And it's so fun, I love it. This summer, one of my big goals is to have balance and to eat healthy but also have fun at the same time. But I'm trying to build those habits now. Watching some videos of myself from this time last year. <laughs> this time last year, guys, I literally was struggling to eat healthy. I'm just tired of feeling like bleh. I have not been taking care of myself in the way I should be in terms of my diet. And I've talked a lot about that in recent videos. I'm really just trying to take better care of myself. And I have not been comfortable in the kitchen lately, guys. The most important thing though was I was gentle with myself. I would tell myself, you know, it's okay for you to eat this, you know, <laughs> you deserve it, okay? But soon, soon we're about to get snatched. I don't know when, but soon we're gonna get snatched. Yeah, that's how I did it.
down. We've been cooped up in this house all day long and I just need some fresh air. And because I didn't work out today, I wanna to get my steps up. So we're gonna go downtown and get our steps in. It's a beautiful spring day. We decided we're going to barbecue today, which I'm excited about for dinner. So we're gonna pick up some things to barbecue as well. Um, I'm wearing this skirt from Halara. I love this skirt so much. It is just so cute and perfect for the spring and summer. Um, it's a skirt actually, so it has like shorts built in, which we love. And then I'm wearing this top. It's from Princess Polly. I wear this top all the time. It's just so easy to throw on. I'm super excited to get outside, get some fresh air and get some steps in because I haven't walked as much as I would like to this week. That blueberry loaf was really good. You guys have to try it. Mine was just a little too overcooked, which I'm so sad about, but it still came out really, really great. And I'm gonna have that for dessert tonight. starving and we decided to just barbecue some wings because this is the fastest thing but I seasoned these in a little bit of olive oil and the famous Dave's chicken rub this is like literally my favorite chicken rub love this so much I use this for almost everything honestly it's so good and so flavorful so this is what my wings look like they're gonna go into the fridge until Michael's ready for them because he is preparing the grill right now clean it up and getting it prepped we are also going to toss our wings in some wing sauce okay this is my favorite wing sauce this is the flying saucy it's an H-E-B brand so sorry but it's a mango habanero we love this stuff we're always 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 using this stuff it is so good yeah love this stuff and then michael got the spicy barbecue to try for the first time this is what that looks like so we're gonna do half the wings in this half the wings in that i'm gonna cut up some potatoes put them in the oven make a little side salad, and that's how we're going to eat our barbecue today. <laughs> An Olipop, so I got myself some Olipops at H-E-B, I'm probably gonna have that with my food tonight. Get a little bubbly in, but yeah. When I take the time to reflect, I just know that who I was a year ago would be so proud of who I am today. And it's not about how I look or aesthetics, it's about my mindset and the gentle approach I've taken to become who I am today. I didn't bully myself into change and you shouldn't bully yourself into change either because that will keep us in a negative loop. Your self-worth should be defined by you. And there's nothing more beautiful than when you prove to yourself just how strong you are. smoothie I just got back from a little walk very very focused in on getting my steps up this weekend I am going to not weight lift and I'm just going to try to get my steps up and just do nice long walks oh I store my peanut butter upside down so it doesn't always have the oil at the top if that makes sense um, and then this is my tried and true protein powder I love this stuff guys it is so good i just do two scoops of that i cannot believe i'm a protein smoothie girl now like i really can't believe it guys because i laid off the protein smoothies for a long time added my blueberries i'm going to add a little bit of peanut butter i want to hear your protein smoothie recipes down below how do you make your protein smoothie what do you like in it
got this package in the mail from Amazon. I'm super excited because I got a little dress. So cute. Oh my God, this is great quality, guys. I was not expecting this to be such great quality. This is so thick. All right, guys, so this is the dress. I think it's so cute. It fits so well. I love having things like this just in the summer to throw on. Don't have to do too much. And wear this like with a chunky sneaker and like some high socks or just with some sandals. I love it. I think it's super cute and it's really great quality. It's not a skirt, so it doesn't have shorts under. So it's not like an athletic dress, but I still think it's really nice. Love it. Love it so much. If you're a soup fan like myself, then you'll love this recipe. This is my chicken tortilla soup. It is literally so easy, anyone can make it. In a pot, you're gonna saute your onions and peppers per usual and throw in your shredded chicken with broth. I also add tomato sauce, corn, beans, chili, and cumin powder, and let it boil for about 30 to 45 minutes. This is perfect to take with you to work, for lunch, and it's also perfect for dinner. You can top it with whatever you like. I just top it with cheese and tortilla chips, and that's it. You can eat on this throughout the week, guys, and it's the perfect comfort meal. Mm, chef's kiss. We've reached the end of this video, which makes me so sad. It is Friday night. Michael and I are about to go get something to eat. Okay, we decided to go and treat ourselves tonight. I am just so proud that I ate at home all week long. And I just want to close out this video by saying, be gentle with yourself. Be nice to yourself, be patient with yourself. Not every single week looks like this for me. There are some weeks that are way busier than others and I just don't have time to chef it up like this all the time. <laughs> it's just not always realistic, but I want you to know that also, I did not pick up the camera every single time I put something in my mouth. I only filmed whenever I was cooking something new. I just wanted to give you guys as much recipe inspo. As long as you are trying to make a difference in your life, as long as you are working towards doing and being better, that's all that matters. The most important thing is the intention, okay? The most important thing is that you are moving with intention, okay? That you are being intentional. But being intentional is important, but also being nice to yourself and being patient with yourself is important too, okay? I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of wherever you are in this journey. You should be so proud of you. And I feel like I should say that more often because there are times where I get into cheer coach Janet mode and in my videos I get really, really like hard and tough. And I don't want you guys to think that I am not empathetic at all because I totally understand the struggle, okay? I am here with you, I'm on your side and I hope you have an amazing week. Whenever you're watching this, whatever, I am posting this on a Sunday, hopefully. Hopefully this goes live on Sunday. So hopefully you can start your week off right, okay? My test is on Tuesday, so I'm gonna put my head in the books for the next three days. I'll probably vlog that day, we'll see. I feel like it'd be nice to vlog. We'll see. <laughs> I don't wanna to be too distracted though. It's like, what if I fail? <laughs> I might still vlog, we'll see. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you watched till the end, you're a real one. If you watched, period, you're a real one. And like this video if you like content like this, if you'd like to see more videos like this, and leave a comment down below if you try any of these recipes. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.